hey welcome back to another video my friends I know this is a bit late so my last video was about a month ago and I am back now on the track so let's get started with this thing and this is basically in this video we'll see what is the file system access or what is the file system API in Chrome or you can say every chromium based web browser so uh, recently not recently but some time ago the chrome team actually developed a file system access api okay so they created this now the web apps can easily access the user's file system which is actually amazing because previously what you need to do is you need to create an input and with the type of file and then the user clicked it and then the file got selected and then you have to handle that with javascript this thing simplifies it a lot so so let's see in this demo in this short demo how it does that so this is the documentation this is a really nice documentation I will leave this link in the description below uh, so let's get started now I have a really really blank uh, vanilla project okay so as you can see I got just an HTML file just a JavaScript file and that's it in the next video we are going to create a, a whole project like not a very big project but kind of a, a, a better project than this one so let's fill in the body uh, with some HTML uh, let's first of all see how you can interact with the file system by you know opening a file so I'm going to create a button so I, I use Emmet and I'm going to give it an ID of open file and then I'm gonna write over here open file okay so if you don't know I'm using live server the live server extension you can go inside the extensions tab and then you can install live server from there and then right click and open the live server the HTML file so basically that um, helps in that helps a lot like you know it refreshes automatically okay whenever you save the file so you've got this button and now let's go to this JavaScript file and remember to uh, link this and let's go back now let's first of all get this button by get element by ID so I'm going to say const you know what is that called that is open file button and let me just zoom in this one will be equal to document dot get element by ID open file now once we have got this button let's just say open file button dot on click so you have got the click handler basically and this will be a function right but right over here I'm going to mark this one as async now if you don't know what is async await and uh, uh, why do uh, what are asynchronous operations don't really worry because this is you know you need to understand that concept in JavaScript but this is a very simple tutorial so you don't need to worry about that so async let me explain in short basically uh, we mark a function as async because it takes some time to do okay so when we click the button it's going to show you know the uh, the window where we can select the file and then we hit ok open and then that all process takes some time right so that's why we mark this as async and now let's just say const and then let's do this and then await you can say window dot show open show open file picker all right now you can uh, you can omit this window if you want okay uh, because every uh, function in window is accessible like this so you can just say that and it returns in array of file handles the the file and the files that you select so I use this array destructuring and let's pick up the first one which uh, and we're gonna name it file handle now I'm going to show you what is this in a minute so let's just see what is this so I'm going to say console.log file handle and let's hit save and let's go back to the web browser now I'm going to open up the uh, console I'm just going to right click and inspect and let's open up the console and now okay don't worry about this log so now when we click this open file button as you can see we have got uh, you know this this window which shows you all the files like it's a simple uh, select window 
so now we are inside of a folder where we have a text file now I'm going to click this and click open or you can even double click this so hit open and now in the log as you can see we have got an object with the kind of file and the name of openme.txt now if you were wondering if this works why are we not getting any you know intelligence like you know when we when we type show open file picker we don't get any intelligence we don't get any drop down as you can see we got no suggestions so why do we have that well it's because the system you know the types and all that the intelligence is not baked right in as of now so because you know it is only chrome and chromium thingy so it's not for firefox and that's the reason it is not showing up right over here but in the next video when we will create a, a kind of a larger project we are going to see how you can bring intelligence and it's possible okay trust me it's possible so once we've got the file handle now you can also get the file how do we do that well you can say const file is equal to await and you can say file handle dot get file okay that's the method on the file handle and now let's just console log the file hit save and now what you will see is let me just go back to the browser and now if I was to click on open file and if I was to open this file you'll see we got a bunch of information now you got the last modified you got the last modified date okay you got the name of the file you got the size of the file so I guess it's the number of characters you got the type of the file which is text slash plain and then you got the web relative pattern that stuff and then you got the prototype function and that's not actually needed now we have got the file but still we have not got any kind of information which tells us what is inside of the file like I want to know what is inside of the file what are the contents so to get the contents what you can do is we can just create a variable straight like this const contents is equal to and we say await and we say file dot text okay and this dot text method basically what it does is uh, converts the file to a text like gives you returns you the contents in a string format so that you can see what are they okay and then just say console log contents and hit save and now let's go back and the f and finally when I'm going to open file and then open this file you'll see I get this hello there and this was actually in the file this is what is in the file and now let's try to output this in the HTML so I'm going to create a simple you know let's just create a p tag and let's give this an ID of file content okay and then I'm going to keep it empty and then right over here let's just go ahead and select that so I'm going to say file content p or let's just name it file content and let's set this equal to document dot get element by ID and then we can say file content and now let's just go ahead and instead of console logging this let's just say file content dot inner text is equal to the contents okay very simple JavaScript you know this is the simplest JavaScript and now the moment I'm going to click open file and the moment I'm going to select this file and then hit open you see we got this hello there why because these are the contents of the file let's select another file now so now I'm going to click on open file and now we have got another file that I created and let's just open this one and as you can see we got the contents now the it contained a lot more content like not a lot but you know somewhat more content and it got printed out and this is the way you can interact with the file system there's another thing that you can pass in the options in this show open file picker so you can only accept you know if you want uh, a certain type of file then you can have that right now if we open that file picker it's going to show us every single type of file so you know video file and photo image files and everything every single file but we want only the text files because we are converting it to text right so you can pass in the options right like this and in the options so this options will be an object now I'm not going to put right over here all of the things right in this object 
in this function but instead it's better to create its own variable so I can just say const options is equal to an object and then you've got the options right over here so now what you can do is right now I'm just going to paste in the options so in the options object we have the types property which is an array of types and then you've got another object like you can also create another object for another type if you want that's the thing and then you can say description is equal to text files that's the first thing and uh, the next is the next one is except which is basically the extensions and the mime types which are of the file so right over here I've got an object with the text slash plane and then you've got a another array with this extension so you can just say dot txt right and you can add another extension if you want like dot like whatever the other extension for text files like if you want a JavaScript file you can uh, add that mime type and then the extension so that's how you have the options you can refer to the documentation for further more customization now you can just pass in this options right over here and that does its job now the moment you are going to click on open file as you can see it directly says text file so it will show you only the text files uh, if I go to pictures it's not going to show me the pictures and uh, like you know all the pictures I have I, I have the pictures right over here but it's not showing me because I have text files right over here and so I can just double click it and then here we go so hopefully that was it my friends if you want more content like this hit the like button and subscribe the channel and in the next video hopefully we are going to create a cool walking project in which we are going to explore you know most of the things in the chrome file system access api i leave this link in the description so that you can check out this whole uh, so that you can check this whole article or this whole documentation and they also have a very you know this is the main documentation with everything baked in okay so from start to end you can check that out also i leave this link in the description as well and i hope this video helped you like it share it comment down below if you have any questions and any doubts let me know your doubts and finally thanks for watching